you probably must have heard about the headless dilemma, especially if you're switching from a traditional CMS like WordPress to a headless CMS like Strapi. Here are five content modeling best practices for your next Strapi app. Number five is my favorite. Let's dive in. Number one, plan ahead before building. First and foremost, outline your content types and their relationships. You could use Miro bots, Lucid Chats, Figma, and so on. This will ensure you have a plan before building your product. Number two, focus on content structure and not the design. When designing your content model, your question should be what does this content do rather than how should this content look this way you have the intent for your content number three use relation for reusable content if you have content that will be used in multiple places use relations rather than component this is so that your content can be queried and reused across multiple contexts now that does not mean you shouldn't use components that takes us to number four number four use components for context specific content this means that you should use components for content that are specific and unique to a single place and that doesn't need to be queried independently and finally number five avoid deep nest limit your nest relations or components to two or three levels deep otherwise this will impact performance in a negative way if you want to learn more check out the blog post in the comment section below